so excited to show you how to make this beautiful little hidden pockets. Oh my goodness, look at this. It's so cute. I promise it is super easy to do. Look at this. I will just undo the knot like this. There we go. And then you fold it like this. And then you have one, two, three beautiful little pockets. And there you go. It is so easy. I will show you right now. <laughs> Just to make it easier for this example, I will take a paper that is slightly bigger. So my original size was about this size. So I'm making it bigger just for the camera purposes. Plus it will fit perfectly in another journal. So why not? So my desk is a little messy because I'm working on this mini journal, which I glued this in. And I was looking for something exciting to put in and I was playing with paper. And I came up with this and it's super easy. Um, I'll give you a few other options on how many pockets you want. So I made it with three because I sewed this side, but you can do, you can do something else. It's so much fun. It gives you so many options. So, okay. The first thing is you will fold this just as if you were trying to make a paper airplane. I know we have different models, so I'll show you. You just do this, and you will bring this right here, just like that. Now, there might be some trimming to do just because it's not a perfect square, okay? So, the first fold, so I folded it in half, and I brought the corner right here, like so. And I will do the same thing on the other side. I will bring the corner right here to the fold line, if you will. Okay, so that's what we have. And then I decided I wanted the openings to be this way. You could decide that the openings will be that way. So I will keep going in the same side that I had previously done. Okay, so then you fold up those triangles like so so right there you have this pocket okay this becomes the fold you will use to close your little secret pockets and then you fold this just you know enough to show that there's another pocket there's no really you know secret measure or anything you fold it the way you see that it suits you when you like it voila that's it so we are 2 minutes and 38 39 40 seconds in and you pretty much got most of what this is so i'm just going to readjust here my fold just actually it doesn't matter it's actually quite nice like that i will leave it okay so the options I was telling you about. I decided to open this flap here and I went to my sewing machine and I sewed this shut. But you don't have to. You absolutely don't have to. First of all, if you don't have a sewing machine, you can always glue. Okay, so what you would do is you would glue, you would put glue here and just simply close it and that way this side would be closed shut and this of course is the fold so you don't need anything okay so if you don't have a sewing machine all you have to do again is apply glue right here and just close it you can also glue this flap if you want if you want to make sure it never comes out but on this one that i just did i didn't put any glue it just never opens up it just stays like that you know but if you're worried, nothing is preventing you from gluing this and then putting, putting glue here and you will have one, two, and this sandwich one I call. <laughs> so three pockets right there. Also, if you apply this to a journal, because you could leave it loose, it could be something that you take out of a pocket and then you can decorate the back or you can decide to glue it to a journal 
and just glue the three sides and have a top pocket as well to put a tag or something or on the side so those are already options you can also decide that you want to leave this flap open always like not have it closed as a secret although it kind of defies the purpose of what I'm showing you today which is a little secret you know to hide things but it doesn't matter because in the end we're just playing with paper and you can decide what you want to do with it so you could decide that this will be permanently attached to the bottom by gluing the bottom let's say and this can also become another spot for something else you know what I mean um, you could also decide that you're going to glue this right and you could decide to glue this completely and have this open and then this becomes another you know journaling spot you could put something here the possibilities my friend are not endless but they're numerous you can you can have many options with this kind of fold so if you're not sure of what I've done again just watch or I can just unfold it for you it's super easy okay so we started with a square we folded it in half and then just as if we were starting to make an airplane with paper we took this corner and brought it to the fold line and then we turned it around we did the same thing here and then we folded the triangle upwards and then we made this part we folded it in because we want to have another pocket right there and then all you have to do is decorate it that's it that's all that's left for you to do so personally what I've done is I've used my stencil that I also love and I opened this flap first and I will just recreate what I've done because I actually really like it so I took my stencil you could put stamps um, you could do some collaging you can do you can just stick images just keep in mind that they will be folded clearly but yeah I just went with that I like how it looks you know like old writing and it's on coffee stain paper so there I really liked it I like it like that it's very nice and then I did the same everywhere else that it would be you know shown so I didn't really have to unfold anything I just applied it here put more and I just went ahead and and brushed everywhere because these are the folds that that will show I'm not going to unfold it like uh, one of the options I gave you I'm going to do exactly the same that I've done the only difference is when I glued this one to a journal I might actually leave one of the sides probably the top side free to put a tag just to make it even more interesting and even more secrets you know there look at that beautiful and then I will also before I glue anything or sew anything I will uh, ink this right here like that and I will ink this before I can't really move them anymore like that I will ink this oh I will also give you other options for closures that I thought of but it didn't work because I couldn't find them so I'll tell you in a second just give me a moment here okay so for the closer well first of all you know what just let me go sew this together because I know I'm going with that if uh, you want to glue yours go right ahead I'll be right back okay so I went ahead and sewn mine I really just love it so much oh my gosh yes mine will be glued to the journal and I will leave the top unglued so to add another you know to have another um, tag see just like that I really like the idea okay so one of the options I have thought uh, for closures and it didn't work out because I couldn't find them is I will do it on another piece of paper because I don't want to ruin this but 
So let's say this is the corner right here, okay? So what I had the intention on doing was I was going to, to fold just the very top like this, okay? And inside this corner, I was gonna put a little magnet and put another one behind. So let's say, you know, I would have glued a magnet here like so and glued a little magnet on this fold and this would have just boop, stuck to the magnet but I don't know where I put them I have some that are like you know you could cut into them they come in ribbon forms and um, I don't know where I put them there was another option which was um, actually I'll show you velcro so I had punched tiny little velcro circles and I had put one here of course and one there and I would pull it open so there's different options right so you do as you please um, I thought the magnet would have been very sweet because it would have just closed seemingly but I did not like the velcro on this specific one um, for the mini journal I'm making so and I couldn't find my magnet so I came up with this now I leave the rope here right because it's double and then I pass one here and I make a nice little bow you could also permanently leave one here permanently leave one there and have those two tie you really do as you wish okay so those are the options so I don't know if you want to stick around but I think I will keep decorating this um, I I really love the rub-ons. I think they are very con like very convenient for this, especially since this is folded all the time. Um, I need something that can move easily without cracking. Now, if you have stickers, they might crack unless they're very, you know, a specific type. Or you could do uh, some washi tape. That would work as well. Um, if you have other papers, uh, like tissue papers that you want to glue on there, they'll be it'll be easy for you to fold without them breaking. The only thing I don't think would be a good idea is let's say I take a mushroom that I fussy cut it, and then of course with every fold, it could work, but it'll just make the fold a little thick. Um, this is beautiful. I wish it would work, but I'm not certain that it would last very long. I have these two beautiful birds. I really love them. I think I will use them. I think it's very nice. Or maybe a flower. I love the birds, but I'm I'm really leaning towards flowers. Let me see. Okay, I have these uh, jumbo size rub-ons. Um, hmm. I'm not a fan of roses at all. I know. I know most women love roses. Um, I don't like them that much, but this I like just right there. And I think it suits this whole vintage and because they're almost like dried. Oh, I love those. So I will cut these out and I will use them on uh, this particular project. Okay. I will cut it right here. Just about there. Oh my goodness. That's going to look so absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Look at it, you can already see. Oh, I love them. I might change my mind about roses altogether. Oh, wow. Wait till I, I peel it off. Oh, it's going to be so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. <gasps> oh. Oh, my God. Oh, it's so beautiful. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. I love it. I need to put something here. Okay, so I have this butterfly and it fits perfectly within, you know, that triangular fold. Or, yes, another rose. I can't believe this after saying I'm not a fan. I, I'm, don't get me wrong. I'm still not necessarily a fan as far as a bouquet of rose. But this I find is very very beautiful um don't get me wrong i have a rose bush that i planted in my front yard uh, i do like them it's just, i don't know how to express it maybe 
or maybe they're just not my favorite that's all but I like them like the wild roses what I have is a wild rose bush like don't get me wrong if I see somebody cultivating flowers like roses and I'm gonna just go bananas over them and smell every one of them and find them extremely beautiful I just meant as a bouquet like if I receive flowers but then again it depends maybe it's the color I like the ones that are more um, coral color like somewhere like peach and that's actually what I have in my front yard very pretty they smell delicious too okay let's see oh wow oh my goodness and I just have an idea while I was talking to you now of course we're gonna put the eyelet here and another one there and what it is is that with paper um, you know you put eyelet a lot of times you'll put them on something that's a lot thicker um, and now we're putting it on paper so if you're worried about that you can also always add a you know piece of decorative tape like this so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right here I'm just gonna put that it will look like it was well it is intentional but what I mean is uh, just I will put it here it's a little too large so let me cut it a tiny bit it's just enough that the eyelid will be on more solid paper if you will so like that I will put it here and it's also very decorative and I'll, I'll put some here just so it looks like I said totally intentional like so Maybe, or maybe within the, yeah, oh, I like it. And then I'll put a word right across. It's going to look fat. Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Maybe more on the longer side. Like, yes, hold on. And then I'll add a word right across. Oh, it's going to look fabulous. Oh, yes. And I will cut it a tiny bit shorter because I don't want it to be in the fold. Let's see. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it. Okay, let's do that. My goodness, I can't believe how gorgeous these roses are. Now I'm going to want more roses and there's only one page of them. <laughs> I have to look in my other my older pack if I use them or not there oh my gosh look at that oh it's beautiful and I'm gonna put some here like I said just to reinforce um, the corner and it will it looks like you know that's what we planned and it has no other purpose than decorating and of course we know differently are doing this to reinforce I didn't do it in the other it's very small like I I was delicate enough but then I realized that maybe it'd be better if we did so I'm just doing it now and maybe a tiny bit here just to be coherent with the other side how about that let me see not too thick just maybe along yes okay I like it I have no nails left. I have to cut them a lot, I find. Okay. Oops, not quite. Hold on. Mm. I'm gonna start it right here. There. Oh my goodness, look at that. So now I feel pretty confident about putting an eyelet in the corner right here so how about we punch the hole right away so you know just fold them together so that you know they're going to be at the same spot leave yourself enough space on the corner here to house the eyelid depending on what size you decide this for me is perfect oh it's going to be magnificent let's put the eyelets and another idea while I was um, picking my eyelets, I also often um, 
put these under the eyelid because I think it gives it an even more um, vintage look. That could have been your paper reinforcement right there. Had you put this instead of what I've done and put your eyelid there, same thing, as beautiful. Um, and you don't need to put the paper. It's really out, you know, as you wish. So I will continue and put the eyelids. Okay, so the eyelids are in. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, I love it. Let me find something for this. So I found this piece of very grungy element here and this I like it maybe we ought to try isn't that what we're doing here <laughs> maybe we ought to try this oh maybe that oh look at this that's exactly what we're trying that's what we're doing why not right there oh I love it I absolutely love it okay let's glue this to our pocket just like that I really love that this is like like a secret pocket right it's tied and then you open it and you have like I said one two three and then maybe four if you decide to only glue all three sides oh I think it's it's turning to be lovely I need something else here though I think I will put the word collect, so I will just ink that, um, maybe in red. I don't want the rest, I just want to collect. Or maybe the number, no, I don't know. Yeah, why not the number as well? Just the, that top part, in other words, there. I want it right there there yes I like it I really think it suits this page perfectly there we go so now all you have to do is put some rope or some thick thread or you know whatever if you have ribbon that is thin enough I do have these um, how do you call organza I think it's called I'm not sure I don't remember they're a little they're thin but it's still difficult to put in the eyelids I literally have to or actually I could put one on each side oh my gosh I was gonna say it's hard to roll and put in there as we do for um, tags however let me find something to push this in okay I just realized I have bigger ones remember at the beginning I said you know like I tie permanently something on this side and then I pass it through here every time I want to open it but you can also tie permanently on both sides so I'm going to cut myself a longer strip of this and now I'm going to cut it in half because it's a little too uh, wide so okay so I cut those and now I will simply tie it permanently on each side and make a bow. Those are the ones I was looking for. There. Works a lot better when you have the right tool, doesn't it? <laughs> so I will set this here permanently by just making like two knots or something, right? Just gonna make the knot a little closer to the front of course this is kind of thick so it will make a bump in your journal um, but I mean I don't mind all my journals are you know too thick there's it's it, incredible I put too much stuff and everything's too much but that's just the way I do them <laughs> okay I saved you from having to watch me do this twice but Wow, I really like it. I think it adds so much. It's beautiful, just like that. But then every time you would want to, you know, close it, well then, I mean, this is moving around because, of course, it's not in a journal. Let me try and put some weight on here. Didn't want you to see the messy, messy desk. I usually clean before I zoom out, but... Ah! I just, I need weight, something. I have nothing to hold this while I'm trying to 
bow. Trying to make a knot here and make a bow. There. I'm telling you today, making bows is difficult. Of course, they're not the right length. I will cut it afterwards. Like, this is too long. But, oh, it looks beautiful. And this would be in a journal. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's really nice. And then you'd open it. And you'd say, oh, what's that? It opens. Ooh. And then there you go. Then you see all these nice little pockets that you can fill with whatever you want. <laughs> okay. So that was today's project. I really, really love this second one I did. I might keep, you know, I might put another something here. Maybe another word or something or maybe just some stamp. But then again, everything will be hidden because we'll be, you know, I'll be putting things in each pocket. Um, oh my goodness, I love it. I really, really love it. I love how this looks. I love the feel of it, you know. And this was like really just a piece of coffee stain paper. Of course, you can use paper that you love that already has, you know, some kind of designs on them. Um, yeah and eyelets and again you don't even need eyelets because if you don't have anything to make eyelets just glue these in the corner and punch a hole same thing it will look fabulous because i do it a lot on my tags so it's going to look beautiful and there you have it so this one was for my mini journal that i'm building right now and i think it's absolutely gorgeous but this, I must say, I'm even more in love with it. And it's a little bigger, of course. And don't forget, when you glue it, don't forget your options. You can rewind the video and look again at the beginning. You have many options for your pockets. It's really all up to you. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. It really helps my channel grow and my video be seen by others so that I can keep creating free videos for you all. <laughs> I give you a great big hug from here in Nova Scotia, Canada. I hope you're all happy, healthy, and safe. And I say thank you for watching. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>